Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Charlene May. It is Char here, and today I will be doing a video on top 10 tips on how to stay productive while working from home. And just to give you a little bit more context, I am a person working from home right now. I am a technical recruiter working for a recruiting consultancy that was located or is located in the center of the financial district. So there's no way I'm going back into the office until this whole coronavirus thing is like cleared or whenever it's cleared. I wanted to make a video to share my 10 tips on how I stay focused while working from home. I have been working for like a year and a half now straight out of college. So this can be really helpful for people in my position. Um, really figure out how to not only work a corporate job, but work a corporate job from home. So if you're interested in hearing my 10 top tips on how to stay productive and focused while working from home, please continue watching. And if you have not already, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and if you click the notifications bell below so you're always notified when I post something new and with that being said let's get straight into the video so the first tip I have for you is to always get ready before work I wake up one or two hours before work just so I can brush my teeth. So please brush your teeth, eat breakfast, um, you know, shower and put on new clothes. I think putting on new clothes that aren't your pajamas is really helpful. Just feeling ready for the day in clothes that aren't your pajamas and after brushing your teeth and eating breakfast and showering really sets the tone for the rest of the day and it makes you feel like you're ready and that you're awake to actually work. And when I say don't wear your pajamas, I don't mean that you have to wear full-blown office clothing, like a blazer or like fancy pants or anything like that. I wear sweats, leggings, a comfortable sweatshirt. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean that you have to wear like business casual clothing from your um, room. Like that's a lot to expect from someone, but I mean just not the clothes you were wearing to sleep. <laughs> And my second tip for you all is to have a ergonomic friendly work environment where you feel like you are comfortable. So I have bought a lot of resources in order for me to have that comfortable work environment. I'll be inserting a clip of my work environment just so you get an idea of what I mean by a comfortable work environment. Um, in the clip, you'll see that I have an ergonomic chair, ergonomic mouse, an ergonomic mouse pad, a double monitor for my Surface Pro laptop, and just a comfortable desk to sit at. I remember when work from home was starting and my boyfriend and I, we were, you know, moving into a new apartment together and we had to share one table to work from home from. And that was really hard. And also sharing the same room space as your roommate or your significant other is also not desirable to be productive during um, work from home. Uh, I remember that my boyfriend and I, we shared the same room while working from home for like the first two weeks. and from you know the second week I was like this isn't gonna work we were taking calls at the same time uh, we were distracting each other I do like keeping you know my work separate and by doing that I had to you know have my own room and if you can have your own room from your other roommates I think that that would be a better option to go with um, but I am you know a fan of working with him in the same room when I'm tired of working in my so-called office so the third piece of advice I'd like to give out is to please work by a window I think it's so important to have direct access to sunlight and to see a view of what the outside looks like staying inside all day to work isn't fun but staying inside to work all day without a view of what the outside world looks like is probably miserable so I would really suggest you working at at a space in your house where the window is right next to you. You're looking directly outside of the window. I think that, you know, working in an enclosed space with no views of the outside world is not good for your mental, mental health, for sure. And the fourth piece of advice I have for you all is to listen to music in the background. I love listening to music even if I'm not working. So I know that listening to music while working will just make work that much better. And the music that I like to listen to 
is usually hip hop lo-fi. If you look on YouTube and look up lo-fi study music, you will see a video that just loops over and over again with lo-fi beats that are really easy to do work to and doesn't distract you too much. I also suggest listening to SoundCloud mixes. I listen to the Selection Radio episodes a lot. They're two hours long. It's lo-fi, hip hop, R&B, into one episode and you don't have to worry about switching the song skipping a song picking a song it's compacted in this two hour episode so you can listen to like four if i'm doing math right and your work day's also over like listening to jazz instrumental playlists that are on spotify and after watching emily in paris i have to admit that i've been listening to paris cafe music type of playlists that are on spotify and christmas is coming up so christmas songs in the background couldn't hurt as well to help with your productiveness during your work from home days um i really do think music can make a difference with your productivity and your motivation while working from home. So for the fifth piece of advice, I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, really, Shar, really? But I promise if you do this, it will change your life. I love working out before work, and that's my fifth um, tip. Working out before work really helps wake you up and gets you ready for the day. So a typical day for me, looks like me getting up at 6 30 a.m leaving my house at 7 to go to my parents house and commuting there and that's like a 20 to 30 minute commute and i work out for an hour to an hour and a half right before work and it really helps me Ha get into a better mood it gets my endorphins going and the best thing about working out before work is that you don't have to work out after work even before like when i was going into the office i always always made sure to work out before work because working out after work when it's dark outside just sucks i i promise you it sucks so getting it done when the sun is out and feeling accomplished before 9 a.m. just feels really great, especially during quarantine. And for me, working out really builds that momentum for me to want to complete other tasks that I have to get done throughout the day. So if you haven't already, I would really suggest working out before work or just working out in general. I know that quarantine really demotivates people from working out and moving, but I promise that movement will only make yourself and your mental health feel a lot better. And tip number six is really hard to do as well. I don't do this as much as I should, but it's to hide your cell phone. Hide your cell phone behind your laptop, hide your cell phone in a drawer, hide your cell phone under a pillow um, for at least 30 minutes at a time. It's really hard not to go on your social media, not to text your friends in the middle of a task. And it can really, really hinder you from being as productive as you can while working from home. But I think that it's helpful to hide your phone because I can stay on my phone for two hours at a time max. And I won't even know what I was looking at. I know that this tip is really hard and I don't even follow it sometimes, but I am going to say this out loud that I am going to try to follow it as much as I can. Um, I remember I even deleted my social media just because it was kind of taking over my life at one point and I was going on Twitter, going on Instagram, going on Snapchat and then like after a minute I would complete that like same cycle all over again and that's when I knew I had a problem. I'm kind of going through that right now but it's really hard when that's all that can really distract you with what's going on you know in our world right now but i really do think taking a break from your phone while working is really helpful and beneficial so my seventh piece of advice for you all is to have a written to-do list i have a yellow notebook here she's happy she's yellow and i write down all of the things that i have to do that day by hand so here's an example of what my to-do list looks like it's really simple i promise you just write down what you need to do and then you cross it off when you're done and i know you're wondering wow Shar, that's such a simple thing to do like will that really help me feel more productive and i promise you that it will and if you try it out for a week and you don't like it then you can hate me but if you do like it please comment down below your thoughts okay this is one of my favorite tips for tip number eight it's to take that hour-long lunch break that you're given i know it's hard not to fall victim to no i need to work during lunch blah 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 
just take an hour break out of the day to not work because it's really easy to make work your life during work from home, but that is not it. I am a big believer of taking breaks because you need it. So please take that hour long break that you're given or 30 minute long break that you're given um, during your work day. Even if you can't take a break at 12 because you have a client meeting or you have a, another call, try to take it you know, from 11 to 12 or take it from one to two. I'm sure that your managers are flexible during this time in quarantine and working from home. Burnout is real. And if you don't take your breaks, then you will burn out and you won't be as productive or motivated as you want to be. And while we're on the topic of taking a break, I would really recommend you using PTO days if you have PTO days. And you're probably thinking, I am not traveling during coronavirus, so why should I use my PTO? Well, I think that using PTO to have a relaxing day at home where you're not reading your emails and where you're watching TV uninterrupted or doing your favorite hobby uninterrupted is really important to have. And having a couple of those days to yourself that isn't a Saturday or a Sunday can really help recharge you for working from home. In conclusion, please take your lunch breaks and please use your PTO days if you have them. My ninth tip is one of my favorite tips as well, and it's to reach out to your coworkers and in particular, coworkers that aren't in your direct team. For me, I talk to my team every day since we do have daily meetings. So I understand, you know, what projects are working on, how life is treating them, how work from home is treating them. It is an extra effort for me to call and reach out to people who aren't on my team. I luckily work at a company where I want to talk to my coworkers and I miss seeing them in the office. So I need to mimic that type of social interaction by reaching out to them for a Zoom call or a phone call. I think it's really important to stay connected to people who aren't on your team, just so you remain connected to the company that you work for as well. And it's just great to remain social, like how you were probably social in the office setting. And it really, makes things seem a little bit normal when you hear more about how other people's lives are going and how they're handling work from home as well. So do not feel afraid to connect with people that are outside of your team. They probably want to hear from you too. And they are probably feeling a little lonely during this work from home thing. So I really do recommend reaching out to different people in your company during this time. And my last tip I have for you all is to work from home in different environments if you can and if you feel safe to do so. So I work in three different places during work from home. I work in my personal office, AKA my bedroom. I work at my parents' house and I also work in an outdoor cafe that's right next to my apartment. I always work better when I change my environments up. I remember in college, I would go to the library, then I'd go to a different cafe, then I'd go to a different cafe on another day. And that really helped me stay re-energized and focused. And meeting up with your coworkers can really help during quarantine. I know that it might not be safe to do so, but if you're wearing masks and socially distancing from each other, I think it can be a great way to stay collaborative on any projects that you're working on and to think that life is kind of normal still and having that office feel is always nice too. And that is the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed listening to the top 10 tips I had on how to stay productive while working from home. And if I didn't mention a tip that you might have that has kept you productive and motivated while working from home, I'd love to hear it. Um, please comment those tips below in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click the notifications bell below so you're always notified when I post something new. And I wanted to thank you again for watching my video and I hope you really got something out of this video to keep you motivated and productive during this hard time and I hope to see you in my next video bye